Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. This week in the studio, I'm gonna finish up this crane. You may think it's finished, but I think the sides need a little bit of work and then it will be finished. So just one little thing there. And I have to sort of clean up the glass and whatnot. Swing it over this way. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with the background here, but uh, I'll work on it a little bit this week. We'll see. And then one other thing that I want to work on is doing some of these ceramic rings for the ruins project. I'm embarrassed to say how many I told her I would work on, but uh, so she sent them to me, but I want to get started on that. And I think I'm going to work on some Filati pendants as well, maybe for Valentine's Day at the same time. talk for just a minute about the filati that I pulled. If you want to learn more about it, I learned the technique in Rachel Sager's intuitive Malmischiato class that I took from Mosaic Arts Online. So I recommend that you take that class so that you can learn the proper techniques for pulling your own threads and all the safety precautions that you need to take. She has since sent me some of these little beauties. Hey! to fill with filati and they're not very big, but I wasn't sure how much filati it would take to fill these. And so I wanted to go with some uh, pure colors because in the past when I made filati, I had mixed the colors and I started with blues. This is some Orsoni small tea that I purchased, not directly from Orsoni, but from another artist who sold it to me. And so I have some various shades of blue. And then I have, I pulled one green cause I just couldn't take not mixing it a tiny bit. And then this is what I got out of it. Got several long pieces. And I just wasn't sure if this is about five or six pieces of the A-cut small tea, but I wasn't sure if this was enough one piece to fill one of the rings. And so I made several. This one is really long and skinny, so the pieces will be very small. And it's a double pull, so it's all curved and wonky. And this one was another double pull that actually uh, broke, so it's not so wonky. These pieces are more perfect, I think, because they're a little bit thicker. So the pieces will be small, but not teeny weeny. And then this is my longest one. Look at this. Look how long it is. I have to get all the way back here to show you how long it is. Ooh. That's probably as far as I could pull it myself without having to do a double pull. And I have another nice long one, not quite as long as that one, in the blue. That super long one was the green. That's the only green one I did. And then I had one that was orange and another one of these. Quite a few pieces to start with, and uh, I'll start cutting and filling. 
That's it. I'm just estimating about a quarter inch or so. They're not all the same. There's a little bit of variation. Ooh, look at that. Now the, I then pour my palette, which is this little tray. I'm going to be cutting some really small pieces and I want to keep them separate. I'm going to put them over in this corner in between the bigger ones, which is really nice. unboxing I'm going to do for you guys today. I placed an order with Delphi Glass and they had a sale on some things so I just want to share it with you. It was a quick turnaround on this. It came very quickly. It's nice. Big box. Castle. Look at that. It's full of stuff put this on my lap. Can't put it on the table. It was really kind of hard to tell online how much was, you know, if it was by ounces or whatever, but these, this is what I got. A lot of these vitreous glass tiles, which I think vitreous glass gets a bad rap. It's where I started though, because it's such an inexpensive material. It can be a little tricky to work with, with the bevel and the ridges on the back, but it's very, it's got a lot of color options and these are the copper streaked ones, which I like. I like to use these as a border on my stepping stones. So I just ordered some more so I'd have some more colors to choose from. I got a lot of them. Here's some more. And then these are the smaller ones. This is still vitreous glass, but these are the smaller 3 8 inch pieces and they are also copper streaked. I think these are black. It says Nightscape Metallic. Uh, and then I got some more small ones, dark. And then these were all like a lot off, like 70 to 80% off. So this is the dark blue metallic. This is a pound, in case you're wondering how much a pound is. This is one pound. Uh, it was quite a deal or I probably wouldn't have ordered it. And then I ordered, I think the fire mix is what it's called. Yeah, fire mix. This is the regular three quarter inch. Vitreous. And then these gorgeous little iridized minis. I wasn't sure how many would come in this, but I think they are just so pretty to use on something like a bottle or a box. The colors are wonderful. They come uh, regular, but these are the iridized ones. I like both. I like to mix them so it's not too shiny. But anyway, that's it. That's all that's in my box. I'll lay it all out and take a picture so you can see it all together.
nice. When I opened the bag to take the pictures, I just realized how dull these bags make the glass look. Look how gorgeous this is. Really not bad for Vitri's glass. And they got it on sale. You can't beat that. This one, I'm loving this. It's a very dark blue with the copper. Yay, yay me. And then I got the mix, all the colors with copper, and I got three bags of that. So I can't wait to use that. And then here's the orange and yellow. And this one, actually, the packaging is not bad. You can see how pretty that tile is right from the get-go. These bags, though, boy, they're not doing that glass any justice. That's it. Time to get this hibiscus framed. To start, you need some needle nose pliers, which I couldn't find, so I have these. Some wire cutters, a drill, your project, and a frame. I ordered this floater frame. It's an illusions frame from Jerry's Artorama. And I had to order, I think, five frames to get a good deal, but it came with all this hardware in here, which is wonderful. So I am going to speed this up and show you how I get her done. Hey everyone, I didn't get finished with the things that I wanted to do this week like working on this project and finishing up the crane, but I did get some other things done, like pulling extra filati for some projects. So that's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.